Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster. And because it's that time of the year, we'll have something of a special episode talking about the snow. And what we're going to do is take a random image that I've taken here and uh, add some snow to it using a Boris Continuum Complete Generator. And we'll do that with a little twist so it's not all that boring. So what I've done, and let's get rid of the effects that are on here, is I have taken the same footage and put it on track one and track two. It's uh, the exact same footage and you'll see why later. So the first thing we're going to do is add the snow. And to do that we're going to Tools, Effect Palette, go to the BCC Generators category and select the snow and add it to the top video track. Well, quite some snow, but not very much. So let's go into the effect editor and I won't go through all the options here, but just a couple of them. If you want to know about all the options, just click this launch help file button here and it will open up your PDF reader with a detailed instructions on how to use the generator. So I'll, I'll go th through a couple of options that I think are, you know, absolutely necessary. First of all, of course, these general options are pretty self-explanatory. The snow amount, we'll increase that quite some. The snow angle, which says which angle the snow is coming from, from minus 45 degrees to plus 40, 45 degrees. The snow speed, well, surprise, it's going to be the speed. So let's decrease that speed a bit. And the snow depth, which changes the perception of depth. I like a lot of depth, so I'll increase that to the maximum amount of 300. And now it will look like the, the nearest snowflakes are nearer. Of course, they're not nearer, but they're just larger and, and faster probably than the snowflakes that are supposed to be in the back. Other options that I think are very interesting are uh, of course the snowflakes here where you can change the color we'll leave that at white because you know, well it's snow the size uh, of the snowflakes and the size variance which uh, kind of is how differently sized these uh, snowflakes are going to be i'll increase the variance a bit and a really really cool options is the shape option now we have flake blur and sparkle and for our application, we'll use flake, but you could also change that to blur. You know, that looks very, very fake snow. Um, and uh, it, uh, sparkle doesn't look like snow at all, but uh, you can see yourself adding some pretty nice uh, sparkly effects because you now you have some glitter that is actually a particle system and animated, which can be useful in uh, some applications. Granted, these are very special applications, but, you know. All right. You can also change the way the particle system works, but we're not going to change a, a, a lot of that. Maybe increase the speed variance a bit. But what we're going to do is increase the particle lifespan to the maximum because we actually don't want the snow to disappear or you know at least not disappear so fast <laughs> and why is that you may ask because right now um, all the snow does is move through the image and you know it, it doesn't stick anywhere and that's what we're going to change in the interaction section there are two options here. One is pretty simple, and that is stick to ground, and it does exactly what you think it would. It uh, makes a uh, your snow stick to some ground, and you can change the ground height so that it matches the horizon on your image. That's what I'm going to do here, and. The way cooler thing here is stick to layer. And this is where our video track one will come into play. We will have it stick to layer first below. 
and as our effect is on video track two, this will make it stick to whatever is on video track one. And you can see now this makes all the snow disappear. <laughs> and uh, you know, of course that is not <laughs> what we want. <laughs> But we're going to change that in a couple of seconds. We will use the, the Luma channel of our image, or rather the inverted Luma, because by default the snow sn sticks to the uh, bright parts of the image, and uh, that would be the sky here. So it sticks to the top of the sky, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. So we'll invert the Luma and have it stick to the ground. Now it's sticking here to the topmost uh, line of, of the video because this is a half black line. We'll have to remedy that by uh, resizing the layer below. So let's quickly, let's quickly do that. Again, bring up the effect palette and just use the three warp or resize or whatever you prefer and just scale the layer below up a bit and we'll also move it up a bit so our snow still sticks to the right edges. Okay, that looks much better. So let's get back into our snow options and we will not use the layer mode binary, but we'll use the gradient method. So it will not only stick to the hard edges, but also to like a couple of gradients in the ground. Not only to the gradients in the ground though, but also to the gradients in the sky, which is not what we want, but we're going to, cha we're going to change that in a couple of seconds. So bear with me. Let's just change a couple more options fall through percent. Now right now the fall through percent is at zero, which means if a snowflake hits an edge, it will stick and nothing will fall through. But we don't we do want to have a couple of things fall through. So let's increase that. And the maximum uh, fall throughs is how many uh, edges a snowflake can fall through. So we can decrease that a bit because we don't have that many edges and we don't want too much snow falling through our image. Now, generally this looks pretty nice. We have some snow on top of the umbrella here, on top of that monument and on top of the horizon where snow always sticks, right? You remember that from being outside. <laughs> Or maybe not, but we're editors, we're never outside, so this looks perfectly natural to me. Um, but what does not look natural is the snow sticking uh, to um, some gradient in the sky, right? This, you know, as much as we're inside, this, this doesn't look right. So we'll have to change our basically alpha layer a bit and we'll use the color correction to do that. And what we're going to do is just make this a pretty contrasty image by just using the curves. And what I want to do here is make sure that no, that there's no gradient or, you know, no gradient in the sky. So the sky should be all white. And it is all white here. What I want is some gradient in the ground. So I'd say something, something like this. So we can get out of color correction and look at our composite image. What you have to do now is render the upper track with the snow because it's obviously not real time. This will take quite some time. So let's look at our final composite. There it is, it's snowing, it's sticking to the ground. Um, if you watch closely, you can see snow disappear from the ground, which is too bad, but that's uh, even though we have increased the particle lifespan to its maximum, uh, it doesn't last forever. Um, 
but it's sticking to to the ground and it's sticking to the monument and um, the guy's umbrella, which is nice. <laughs> He's got quite a lot of snow on his umbrella, but that's that's what you get from being outside in the winter. <laughs> And uh, I hope this gets you into a nice winterly mood, especially if you're on the southern in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> this is going to be uh, <laughs> awesome for you. Uh, but uh, <laughs> enjoy your time uh, at the beach. Um, all right. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just uh, drop me a line at mail at screencast.com or just comment on the website or comment on Twitter. I'm at screencast on Twitter and uh, on Facebook, facebook.com slash screencast. And if you'd like to see what kinds of things I do in my day job, at least till the end of the year, woohoo changes are coming um, then check out editguy.de where I promote myself this is going to be the last episode of this year so uh, I wish you all a very very Merry Christmas and if you don't celebrate Christmas very happy holidays and uh, celebrate anyway celebrate whatever you like but um, have a good have a good time and uh, I, I also wish you a very happy new year. Thank you, thank you very much for watching uh, all through the year, and um, I'll see you next year. Goodbye. <laughs>